Oh dear. What a disappointment you must be when those who crafted this are watching your fumbling moves. Surely you can do better. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. hmm. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's so good that they that there's actually recorded voice lines that the devs can say. <laughs> uh, well, I, I wasn't thinking about that fact, but you know what? You're right. <laughs> I'm not doing very well. Hopefully, I'm just entertaining the devs. Okay. <laughs> I don't need to look like a pro, just as long as I'm entertaining. It's fine, it's fine. I'm just gonna go. G'day guys! Ziggy D here. Let's play some Hand of Fate 2, shall we? Let's continue! I think we jump into it now. Had a bit of a chat for a while, but I think it's time for some more Hand of Fate 2 action. We played an hour and a half yesterday. Tutorial in the first mission. And, uh, it was so good. It was so good. Oh my god. It seems to be heavily improving and building upon the original game, which was already really good. Uh, quite a lot, so very much looking forward to continuing today. Uh, our Twitch integration should still be turned on, I think. So let's jump back into it, shall we? Ooh. There he is. He doesn't have any glasses anymore, no devs at the moment. I really like the swirling cards kind of screen on the first one. It's good to see they've got, a, they've got one in this game too, but it's a bit different this time. This time they're swirling like a tornado, whereas before they were doing these like loops and stuff. I thought the loops were fancier. This seems easy. Pfft, I could do this. I have clawed my way back beyond the 13 gates to this mortal realm. Oh, baby. Oh, there's a couple map pins. Doesn't mean we get to choose which way we go. Really? Oh, oh shit. You can actually choose. It's not linear. Well, not like entirely. Wow, okay. Really? Wow, okay, so we've done the full, which was like the tutorial, and then the magician, which is the first mission, and now we can actually go off to three different ones. The High Priestess, the Empress, and the Emperor. Choices, but now I don't know what to do. I'm, I've, I have decision paralysis. Where do we go first? I mean, the Emperor seems like a big one to take on to begin with. We'll start with the High Priestess and move up, right? High Priestess, Empress, Emperor, makes sense. The High Priestess. Collect blessings in order to enter the Ritual House at the summit of Mount Freitas and negotiate a treaty with the Northerners here. Ah, we're heading into the Northern Realms. Tribute. Gain blessings to increase your chance of success. Northern Honor. Do not expect to be welcomed by the Northerners while treading in their lands. And we get a campfire now, which uh, we can use to restore life by consuming food, I believe. It looks like we are taking the Trickster with us again get to build our encounter deck. We can go with recommended and then modify from there, which I find to be easiest. The Lost Boy. Please, mister, could you give us some help? I'm gonna take the Lost Boy. Wait, hold on, we have to take some out first. So the Old Maiden's really handy one just to get some like resources. We'll take whatever new ones, right? I wanna see the new ones and any token ones for sure. Okay, I'll get rid of the Tarts, Pies and Exotic Lies one. That one seems not as useful. And maybe I'll take <laughs> Man-Eating Tree. Oh damn, do I want that? Oh, but we could also do uh, Maleclipse, who's our companion. We could do his quest as well. Here, there's a token for this one. We'll do that then. And I don't think we have much equipment to modify our equipment deck with yet, but we did get some new stuff. We don't know what it does yet, though. We got a ruby ring. Some new gear. So that's pretty cool. I don't think there's anything else in here. There's Winter's Bane, which I could put in there. The equipment deck is a lot smaller, but maybe that's only to begin with. Maybe it grows as you move forwards, I'd say. Pick three, my lord. <laughs> All right, that looks good. We don't have many cards to build our decks with yet, so we'll jump straight into it. You find yourself once again in the company of prayer and religion. <laughs> How unfortunate. <laughs> God, his voice acting so good, right? Two tokens up for grabs. Now it begins. Negotiations on behalf of the Empire. We will mm. see how that story ends. All right, Maleclipse has somehow roped you into traveling deep into the far north on a diplomatic mission. While I usually refrain from working with the Emperor, 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 he's got a, he's got a bit of like a speech impediment, I guess. Since this one takes me further away from it, I've made an exception. It'll square my debts with General Brandstrom. 
and it'll help me open many doors for you. What do you say? Hmm. Okay. I want to know more about his mission first. General Brandstrom has instructed me not to come back until I talk to the High Priestess of the North and offer the terms of the treaty, he explains. Will you join me, he says. Hmm, how can I help? As you know, I have a great many skills, but my swordsmanship is unlikely to hold up against the Northern Raiders. I know no one else who is more up to the task than you. Alright, what about the leaders? There are many clans dotted around, but the supposed leader of them all is the High Priestess who lives up there. Malaclips points to the top of the soaring mountain before you. Will you join me? Mm, no. Just kidding. I'll do it. Excellent! Bring your sword and let me do the talking, says Malaclips. I bought plenty of supplies so we can set up camp when we get hungry. So that's a new feature, I think. Ooh, 30 food. Oh shit. That's a lot. Ziggy swordsmanship is unlikely to hold up. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was pretty proficient at the combat in the first game. It's a lot harder this time around. Or it's just maybe different, I guess. But I seem to be really sucking at the combat in this one. Oh, we actually have to get six blessings. Okay. Malcliffe shares a tidbit as you commence your journey. The High Priestess is quite partial to blessings. If you can prove yourself worthy, we'd have a better chance of swaying her in our favor. Collect at least six blessings before meeting the High Priestess. Okay. So I probably want to explore a bit. You grit your teeth and begin the ascent. I like how there's much kind of like deeper missions and encounters in this game than the first one. Like I actually have a mission with objectives in the actual run. It's not just to try get to the end and kill a boss. So they seem to have really fleshed it out a lot. So now we can set up camp, which brings Campfires up Campfires will this. always offer warmth and heat, but they also change with each challenge. Be prepared. Hmm, okay. A figure appears out of a swell of frost and snow. It is a northerner. I come in peace, he says. I make the pilgrimage to the High Priestess. I mean you no harm. Without waiting for approval, he slumps down beside you and warms his hand by the fire. In my youth, I once fancied a northerner warrior. She almost cut off my head when I serenaded her. Mar oh, <laughs> Malaclips plucks a mournful note on his lute. Young love, eh? Okay. So here we can use food to heal if we need to, instead of dancing around. Which is nice, because I always used to kind of do that, it felt a little bit gamey. Uh, and we can also trade here. Buy food and equipment. Cardinal Blade. Guess this is the guy who's joined us at our camp we can trade with. So they've worked those in together. Okay. Little camp music. It's nice, it's nice. Is Hand of Fate 2 an improvement over number 1 so far? And I've played about an hour and a half so far. It seems to be an improvement in just about every way that I've seen. The combat especially is majorly improved, which is the biggest letdown in the first game. The music is maybe a little too loud. It's so good, but it's a little bit loud maybe. Let me know what you think about the audio balance. <laughs> yeah, this game seems a lot more story-oriented, story oriented, a bit more deep, deeper in the encounters and things. I like it. Alright, let's move. Not every temple has crumbled into the dust, more's the pity. So, you guys now have an option of giving me a penalty, and there's no there's no positive vote here. <laughs> They're all bad things. So, you get to choose whether you want to hurt me, remove a blessing, or, low, or hurt me even more. I think that's max life, the first one, jeez. Um, please be kind. <laughs> temple prayers. The Temple of Divine Providence provides blessings in exchange for a simple gold donation. Make a donation, pay six gold? Well, we want to get as many blessings as possible. This guy might give us one, so... Oh. Okay. Oh, we get a choice. We can just choose. Now I choose. Okay. Receive four food after every dice gambit. We have a lot of food, though. Receive 15 life for every gold game card you receive. Hmm. What are you guys voting for up there? I think that's minus max life. Thanks, thanks guys. <laughs> damn, damn you, chat. Long life. If your max life is less than 150, you may discard food gain and equipment cards to receive 5 max life. That could be handy, with what you guys are doing. Sir Sinister, thank you very much for the 9 month resub! Ooh, that sub, baby. Ziggy Sip, thank you very much, man. Thank you very much. We give a couple Ziggy Sips in chat for Sir Sinister, for that beautiful 9 month bait sub, baby. Pocket money. Gain up to 20 gold at the beginning of a new map if you have less than 20 gold. Okay. Pocket money. 
Pick again. Optionally, retry any chance cards gambit. Oh. That seems good. Okay, Guardian Angel and Monk's Vitality both seem really good. I like taking Guardian Angel first, maybe. Let's take that. Man, this Monk is pretty nice, just giving us an option of a blessing. Cool. You leave with a new blessing. I'm glad you guys aren't voting to remove my blessings, thank you. <laughs> I can handle a max life loss, but taking my blessing away would be dirty. The mountain itself pushes mm. you back. This is the exit. We have a lot of food though, so we're gonna explore first to get as many blessings as possible, I think. Be careful a where one takes refuge. Oh. Even in the worst of storms. Oh. Ooh. The climb becomes unbearable as a ferocious blizzard sweeps the mountain. You seek shelter in a cave and desperately fight off the onslaught of frostbite. Damn man. Oh shit. <laughs> uh And I lost track of the one I was following in the middle. I gotta like try and learn to watch all of them, because if you can just see which one floats on the top, because there's usually one that floats on the top, then life will be a bit easier. I feel like two, but uh, chat, chat, chat reckons two as well. Yeah, all right, we'll go with two. Oh, you guys are pretty info. I, I thought so as well. Hey, good stuff. Confirm or choose again? Uh, well, yes, let's confirm. Continue. That blessing is gonna be really good then. I wonder if we get to use it only once or if as many times as we want. When howling winds ease, you clear the snow from the cave entrance and to discover dark clouds have passed. Malaclips forages for firewood saying, this log is dry enough. We can set up camp here for the night. Okay, um, we could heal a little bit, but we'll probably just heal from moving around anyway. Oh, you don't just consume food by moving around now? Really? Okay, so it's a little different then. As though you were being stalked, the gentle northerner pilgrim emerges from the darkness. Of course I know everything that goes on. I can hear you as well as you can hear me. <laughs> Why, hello there! <laughs> ah, unnamed Defiant Dev, thank you very much for tuning in. <laughs> Quick, it's the devs, everyone look busy. Oh, let me let me drop you a quick mod so I can see where you are. Let's see what you, how you're messing with me. There we go. It appears we have one of the creators joining us. Everyone look busy. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Quick, hide your stuff. The cops are here. <laughs> so I had glasses return. Ma motion. <laughs> As though you were being stalked, the gentle northerner pilgrim emerges from the darkness, slumping down beside you. Mount Freitas does ever bite, he says with a grin. I hope her harsh kiss and bitter cold embrace. Oh, I love her harsh kiss and bitter cold embrace. Another day is good climb. In my youth, I once... Ah, oh, this is Malcliffe singing again. All right, we're gonna eat a little bit of food here. All right, I think that'll be fine. Let's break camp. So it's interesting there's even like camp encounters as well, which has a little bit of kind of story to it too. Oh, now I'm nervous. I was like, yes, we had a little bit of time without a developer screwing with us. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> Yesterday, Goblin stole my sword, man. <laughs> okay, let's have a little explore. Oh, you're moving to new Here's locations. For you, if you can consumes food. Okay. All right, so maybe just dancing between explored locations doesn't consume food now. You arrive at the city's markets to meet with Malaclips's associate. Hey, this is Malaclips's quest. Here we go. You find him sitting on a blanket by a si by the sewer gates. You can't tell whether he's a goblin, a human, or an animate pile of greasy rags. Oh, right. We did this one yesterday, and I failed. <laughs> I ate a flower and got unconscious. I think I fell unconscious. A few wilted daisies and duckweed tied with a rope are flopped on the ground around him. Merk! Malaclips calls to the creature, arms outstretched. I have a favor to ask of you, my handsome friend. The greasy goblin man raises a hand to stop the bard's prattle. Ten gold first, you know that. Malaclips looks at you expectantly. I don't have any gold! <laughs> ah, the, go the goblin man looks affronted. Malaclips places a consoling hand on him. Don't, don't be mad. She doesn't know about our kind of work. 
Merc crosses his arm and turns his back to you. Malclips makes soothing noises. Look here, Merc. We'll be back before you know it. The gold, okay? Not this time, I guess. Unless we can get some gold in this level and come back. We might have to do that one next time. Hmm, yes. Yes, if you guys are not familiar, Hands of Fate 2 has new Twitch integ uh, integration features, including the ability for chat to mess with me, but also the developers have extra special developer powers where they can tune into any stream and just mess with you however they want. <laughs> they can have goblins steal your, steal your stuff and they can give swag glasses to the uh, dealer. So, <laughs> even got some fancy purple robes yesterday, that was pretty cool. Um, it's very cool, right? Like, it's very cool, kind of next level developer streamer like fan interaction. I love it. In the Another cold, blizzard. Men become oh. desperate. Ooh. Women hold these mountains together, even through the worst. Climb becomes unbearable once again. We crawl into a cave, seeking to shelter. Ooh, it's definitely number three, guys. It's definitely number three. Hundred percent. I agree with you guys. <laughs> Yeah, even I can tell just from looking at chat that you guys are like three. Absolutely. Let's do it. What? All right, redraw. Blessing. That blessing was so good to take. I did not follow that at all. Do we try three again? I really thought it was three. Hmm. Hmm. One. You guys messing with me? Okay. Hey, it was three as well. Both one and three are okay. Good job. Good job, guys. You're not messing with me too badly. No, almost no one's voted to remove a blessing off me, so that's really nice of you. All right. No more. No more penalties from the blizzard then. All right, let's pop up here. What? What was that? A oh, an avalanche. <laughs> Jeez. Us all. This place Nature. is unforgiving. Truly wild nature will not tolerate fury in its domain unless wow. it is its own. Oh, and that was Twitch hurting me as well. Thanks, guys. <laughs> well, you picked, like, not the worst thing, at least. That's nice. High up on the mountain, you see the silhouette of a man approaching through the heavy snow. He billows through the roaring wind. Who dares trespass in the sacred grounds of our priestess? Fos Roda! <laughs> Oh, hidden raiders spring down the mountain with the dexterity of mountain goats. <laughs> That's a hilarious image. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> I mean, mountain goats are actually pretty graceful when it comes to climbing and descending mountains. Oh, you guys are giving me money? You guys are too kind. Some people are like, let's take his food, yeah. Let's make him starve in the, in the snow. Oh, here we go. Okay, alright, I'm just gonna try and find a little bit of space. Oh, alright, that didn't work. Get some! Oh, dodge! Ooh, sick dodge. Back. Get him! Get him! Oh, that hurt. Okay. Ah, oh my god, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> okay, let's pick up this guy. Oh. Kill me, bro! Oh my god, I'm not, this is not going well. Alright, patience game. Man, these guys are brutal. Ah! Ooh. Finish him! Dodge, dodge, dodge! Touch, touch, touch. All right, we'll get this. I got a crit ready. Go. Ooh, I think I got him before he got me. Finish him. All right. I'm taking way too much damage. Holy moly. I love how you're a pro at, at uh, hand fight one combat and now you suck. I, I know, it's true. <laughs> you don't need to apologize. I'm really sucking at this one. It's much, it's much more, like, uh, challenging as well. I don't know if it's just because it's, like, so different. Because it is, it feels really different. It's much weightier. All the swings actually feel like swings. 
in the first game, you kind of just teleported around. <laughs> it was like, it was a little bit loose and floaty. It was kind of fun in its own way, but it wasn't great. But this is so much better. The Cardinal Blade. This one's geared. So we can use a shield with this too, which I think I need. Um, <laughs> but it shoots off uh, shotgunning daggers in eight directions. Cardinal, eight directions. I'll be using that, thank you. Oh, gold game, nice. Hey, we needed that. Clash of Steel rings out, echoing through the peaks. The mountains answer with a low, ominous rumble as a wall of light rushes towards the melee, sweeping away everything in its path. Oh, <laughs> okay. Our fight summoned Dice an avalanche. Are a constant reminder of death. The singular is die, as I'm sure you know. <laughs> hey, they are often called it. bones for the material from which they were crafted. Here, however, they may also bring a touch of life. Perfect. Nailed it. Yeah, the game is on sale for uh, like just the launch, 10% off. You seek shelter against a bluff, pr pressing close to the rock face as the avalanche roars overhead. When the trembling stops, you are miraculously unscathed. Your assailant's weapon juts from the snow. As you near, you realize it's still clenched in his hand, his body buried to the wrist by the avalanche. <laughs> That's the guard. Retrieve the weapon. We just found a weapon. Brigand's Blades. Critical spin. Perform four quick strikes that can hit multiple targets when activated. Hmm. Repost. Against thieves, repost deals 125 damage. So this is a dual wielding weapon then? I'll have to, I'll have to give this a go. Because I haven't tried that weapon style at all yet, so... You pry the weapon from the frozen hand and continue up the mountain before the raider has a chance to free himself. You reckon I- you guys reckon I should've dug him out? I just saw a weapon and I'm like, yoink! <laughs> Alright, maybe I- maybe I should've uh... Yeah, maybe if I had saved him he might have given me a blessing or something. He might be right. And I already had a weapon to be fair. So maybe that was a little bit of a waste. I think we should camp. Okay, let's cook some food. Okay, we chew through our food a bit trying to heal here. Alright, that, sh that should be fine, right? Is there anything we, we can get here? Ooh, Bastion of Purification. We need to save our gold though. I could sell... Like the Cardinal Blade or something. But I'll try these weapons out I have at the moment, but... I, the Cardinal Blade might be better. Alright. Okay, let's go back to, uh, Mr. Goblin Man. Here he is. Alright. Ten gold first, do you know that? Give the Goblin Man ten gold. Malakliff steps forwards and Merc counts the coins. Merc, you old bean. The bard looks furtively around before waving at his shoulder. I require help in removing a certain illness. Merc considers Malakliff for a while. That kind of information costs more than a few coins. You sputter indignantly. <laughs> I don't know what that looks like. I'll require a test of skill from her. He turns and points at you. Pick a flower and eat it. The greasy florist displays his meager wares. <laughs> Malclips nods as if there's a fair request. The last time we ate a luminous purple flower and I fell unconscious. So I'm gonna I'm gonna defer to chat on this one. Daisy or forget me not. What do you reckon? Actually, you guys might know spoilers. I'm not going to listen to you guys, because you might spoil her. I'm going to go... Forget-me-not sounds like... I mean, saying we're not going to forget anything. That, that could be good. Then again, a daisy. What what could go wrong with a daisy, right? Oh, a daisy. Must be the last of the... <laughs> last of the season. Let's eat the daisy. The flower tastes like wilted lettuce with a hint of something like bitter medicine. Alright. Oh, the dice roll was 15 before, so I guess this is a bit easier then. Alright, 10 shouldn't be too hard. Okay. I'll reroll just this one. Because we just have to get one eye, basically. As long as I don't get friggin' skull again, we'll be okay. What? <laughs> hmm. I'm somewhat surprised you lost that one. <laughs> Me too! What are the odds? <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> oh no. The dice are fair. No, and they're not. You have lost Scammed. This round. Scammed. 
<laughs> the dealer is like so meta as well. <laughs> uh, you feel an intense wave of heat emanate from your stomach to your neck and you collapse on the floor. You wake to see Malakliff splashing with water once again. We'll come back and try again later. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Dev uses the rig dice roll command. Not me, no. No, that was, I think that was all me. That was the game. Uh, yep, yeah, I don't, I don't even blame the devs for that one. I think that was all me. It, it was not to be this time, guys. Despite nature itself attempting to thwart you. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe we'll finish Malaclipse's quest on the next run. We'll try again later. I like you just patting me on the back. Witches I will tolerate. They have at least stepped into the streams of power that magicians call home. Hmm. I feel like we wouldn't be likely to get a blessing of blessed brew though. Of a witch though? Hmm, suspicious. As you ascend the snowy mountain Freitas, you happen upon a cottage with a pungent smoke wafting out of the chimney. A frail old lady sweeping snow off the path beckons you to come in. Come in, dearie. We've come in search of the great high priestess to deliver an important message, says Malaclips. You'd better go bearing blessings if you want to get on the high priestess's good side. I'm fixing up a batch right now if you'd like a taste. If I've got it right this time, you can take it to her, she says, stirring the cauldron. Malaclips politely declines. Mm, I've been watching from what I eat, but my companion here has an insatiable appetite, he says, nudging you forwards. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think some of those were curses. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna let Twitch decide this one. I'm gonna let you guys decide. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Every now and then I see the dev typing things in chat like slash deal 54879321. And then I'm like, what is that gonna do? <laughs> Whatever the highest vote is, I'm going for. Number one, three, two, one, number one. Alright, what have you given me? Failure? What? I'm rolling again, screw you guys. There was literally just like failure and then a bunch of other things we could have gotten and you picked the failure, good on your chat. Alright, try again. What you do to de what you do here is going to determine like... How likely I am to trust you moving forwards, you realise this. So, if you guys get, prove yourselves to have a terrible track record then I'm, I'm obviously... <laughs> I can't listen to you. <laughs> hmm. Three? Three, two, one. Alright, three. Allies in return. Revive your companion at the beginning of each new map. Oh. Oh, I think he died before, didn't he? Actually, I think I revived him in combat, though. Maybe that's like a separate thing. That sounds helpful. Thank you. Good good, good job, chat. It's not a, it's not a curse, at least. You take a sip of the aromatic potion and feel a warm, fuzzy feeling flowing through your body. Looks like my recipe is a success! I'm sure the High Priestess will appreciate this one. <laughs> <laughs> you thank the old lady and continue up Mount Freitas, paying no heed to the brewing blizzard. More brewing. When the hero runs hey, in, what? the villain takes their time to bait their trap. Be careful, lest they put you in your place. Hmm. Random ambush. A rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in danger. You turn as the cords of a northern bowler wrap around your body. What? Kidnapped. Frost Trapper. Oh. A party of northerners charges at you as you break free. I'm not like familiar enough with this game to know when the devs trolling me or when this is just random stuff happening in the game. I think that was devs though. Why would I have been ambushed right then? I hadn't even moved yet, hmm? Hmm? <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright, well look, I've not been doing so well against these northerners, so I'm a little nervous. At least we know my ally is going to be okay, since we've got a blessing that supposedly revives him. If he was dead. I think he was okay. Oh damn, that doesn't look good. And I got these weapons I've never used before either. Trapper, on a frozen plains, prey are few and far between. The keen eyes of a trapper sees all. 
Trappers throw hunting traps that snare their targets. Use evade or avoid the traps and move and or change move direction rapidly to break free. Okay, you're like wiggle. Okay. I'll have you know my friend here is killed far better than you. Oh, this thing's fast though. I like that. Fast might be good against these guys. Oh, that was not fast though. Good job, Ziggy. Whoa, these attacks feel awesome though. I'm getting hit way too much. Dodge, 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 dodge. <laughs> okay, we're good. Shield me, bro. Damn, I like these daggers. These are good. Ready? Oh, dope. Whoa! Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> Alright, we got it. I think we dodged roll at the right time to break it. Ah. I gotta learn to parry, man. Alright, we got him. Cool. Man, I like these daggers. They feel so good. That slash slash is really satisfying. <laughs> Don't tell him, make him feel never safe. I didn't see that what that was in reference to in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Search for spoils? Ab absolutely, you gain two fame. Ah, see, I hadn't seen, this is the first time we've seen the new fame mechanic. I had, I did know it was a thing in the game though. I don't know what it does yet. Search for spoils. Mal's shield saved you from the bowlers at the end there. Oh, okay. All right, cool. <sighs> On-screen dev tips, love it. That's so good. Oh, I did not watch what these were at all. I guess this is just like a success or fail on our search. All right, I'm gonna leave it in your hands, chat. Number one? Oh, number one. Yeah? No. Three, two, one. All right, number four. Good uh, gold? I didn't see what the other ones were, so I'll go with the gold. I'll go with the gold. Yeah, we'll go with the gold. Plus, chat's giving me 20 gold soon, apparently. So, I'm gonna be rich. We uncover a stash of gold. Nice. Nice. Oh, I definitely should have healed. Ah. Ah, yeah. I definitely should have healed. <laughs> another blizzard. We seek shelter in another cave. Alright. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, I lost that. Yep, I lost that. Chat's been doing okay. I might trust you guys on this one, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you guys are super split. Wow. You guys have no clue. Alright. Uh. Alright, I'll try to. Yeah, I'm gonna redraw. In before we get like huge failure though. Alright, I'm just going my own one on this, guys. Don't even bother voting. Three. No! Well, I guess that's what we got anyway. <laughs> Well, this is our first time failing the blizzard. What happens? A wretched smell of fish meat and stale sweat alerts you to the presence of a bear rousing for hibernation. Oh, there's a bear in the cave. The ferocious bear bears its teeth, huh? <laughs> and swipes at you with giant paws. Hey, that's not good. You flee the cave, having barely survived the savage attack. What Luckily, the blizzard has passed. Is that smell? Hmm, okay. Indonus, thank you for the nine month resub, mate. Greetings, fellow human earthling. Please accept this regular human currency as a show of friendship, but I'm not an alien and most certainly, which I most certainly am not. <laughs> I accept that. <laughs> thank you very much, Indonus. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you for the nine month resub. We are looking a little worse for wear here. Let's have a camp, shall we? All right, we're gonna have to not want some of our food. We might actually have to buy some more food. Yeah, I'm gonna heal up. Let's go like 70. Maybe I should get a little bit more food. What can I get? Three food for 11, or it's 12 each. Ah, oh, 12 otherwise. Mm. Mm. All right. We're, we're gonna get some gold amount anyway, so we'll be okay. Looks like that food that we can actually buy is a bit limited as well, so we'll have to be a bit careful. I'm gonna go north, because there's more cards up this way. Hey! Thanks, chat. 
a grand opportunity for you to take whatever pleases you and go about your day. Hey, nice, yes, please. Make another donation. All right, ooh, 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 ooh. okay, okay. Um, all right, so Beggar's Charm is not gonna be useful. Monk's Vitality, if your max life's, this might be handy. Discard food gain or equipment gain cards to receive five max life. It's actually the gain card, so you get an option when you get them though. You can't do it afterwards. Heal 15 life for every gold gain card you receive. That could be handy. Four food after every dice gambit. That could also be handy as well, just kind of free food. Which is also healing in its way too. Hmm, depends on how many dice gambits we get though. Okay. We'll go for the dice gambit. And I can save my money to spend on other things. All right, that seems good. We got three blessings now. Sweet. The mountain is unforgiving. You oh no, I went up. Be the first to right. die upon its peak. <laughs> I wanted to explore some more. I accidentally pressed A. Oops. We ascended. Oh, another blessed brew though. We might end up with enough blessings if I explore this one fully. If the, assuming this might be the last level. Further up the mountain, the blizzard becomes so intense you barely see a tiny cottage engulfed in snow. An old lady be beckons you in. I've received word from my sister's hawk, and I've been expecting you. I may not be as skilled as her, but this blessing potion I've whipped up is my best yet. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> we've got the worst of the two sisters. And do you think it's good enough to take to the high priestess, she says, blowing the steam off a simmering bowl of thick liquid. I, I really couldn't, says Malaclips, patting his belly. It's too full. Mmm, two failures and two successes it looks like. Alright. You guys didn't screw me too much on the last one, so let's see how we go. The skull one puts you at 20 gold every time you ascend. Yeah, but I was already over that though. I guess I could have spent as much gold as possible. That one does seem pretty good. Those are all pretty good, really. Three? Three, two, one. Oh, yeah, three. Long shot. What's this do? Alright, we'll take that. I don't want to risk a failure. Score the exact target value in a dice gambit and to draw three equipment cards, then discard this card. Wow, okay. That's pretty good to get early on then, where you have like a few dice rolls throughout the run. Three equipment cards. Holy moly. Okay. Which if you had one of the other things that let you turn it into like max life, that's a crap load of max life. You take a sip of the aromatic potion and feel warm, fuzzy feeling throwing, flowing through your body. Looks like my recipe is a success! I'm sure the High Priestess will appreciate this one. We thank the old lady and move on. Perfect. Goblins! Ah! <laughs> Goblins. With a snap you feel something being yanked off your person. You've been ambushed! Ah! You turn to see a few goblins running away, giggling and pointing at you. <laughs> <laughs> Defeat the goblins before they blow their horn and escape. Last time I lost my weapon to, to this, so... What? Some highwaymen emerge from the bushes to protect the goblins. Thieves Guild. Uh, A of Greed, or oh, the Anarchist. Oh, he's the bomb throwing guy. And the Greed of Silence. What? There's like two boss guys with them? What the hell? Alright, we ignore them as much as possible and go for the goblins. The one with my weapon, preferably. Although I do have a backup weapon, so we might be okay. Maybe I should just play it safe. If I die in here, that'd be embarrassing. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Cut your throat or cut your purse, it makes no mind to them. Mm, okay. Yeah, one stole my weapon. Gimme my gold back, you little turd. Got him. Come here, you. Oh, you're not getting away. Finish him. Right trigger. Slam. I'm doing a good dodge, do job of dodging these other guys. This guy's got my weapon, though. Come here, you. No, 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 no. No, you don't. Ah. 
Oh, we got him. We got him. All right. We're okay. Man, I did that perfectly. That was beautiful. Whoop. Okay. Slam. Man, I'm a beast. Look at me. Look at me go. I might get the hang of this now. Don't even think about it, you. Oh, okay. Oh, I got it. Finish him. Dodge. Oh, oh that's not good. Shield me up, buddy. All right, we got all our stuff back, though. That is good. Ah, uh, uh, okay. We're good. We're alright. Oh, got him before he got me. <laughs> Mid air. Sweet. Ha, ha, ha. Take that. Devs trying to mess with me. Not even a thing stolen. Easy mode. I think I come out of that ahead even, because we get some fame. Might even get some loot, maybe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Easy peasy. You take those glasses off, dealer. Like, you don't deserve those after that. After that showing. That was a poor showing. Catalina, thank you for the one-year sub. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Can we get a couple, uh, a couple extra Ziggy sips in chat as well? Thank you, Catalina. Appreciate it. <laughs> you take back your brigand's blade from the unconscious goblin. Damn right we do. Damn right we do. As soon as you do with a sputter, the goblin in question awakes and flips away from you, giggling and escapes into the forest. You gain two fame. Unfortunately, your queen purse feels a little lighter than thieving devils. What? But I killed them all! Did one of them take a bite from a pasty in your haversack too? Wow, man. <laughs> the thugs defeated. You search their bodies for valuables. We get some equipment, though. Hey, new shield. Hmm. Might have to use our sword, then. Since we got a fancy shield. Lawwin, thank you for the 20-month resub. Appreciate it, mate. Taunting a dev sounds like a good idea. All right. <laughs> I can do other things to me, too. <laughs> thank you very much for the 20-month resub, Lawwin. All right, damage defense. Against corrupted, defend 30% of weapon damage to attackers. Not fighting against corrupted, though. 15 defense, though. I assume that helps. I don't know how the defense mechanic works just yet. Get some extra food. All right, let me... Uh... I did really like the Brigand's Blades, though. But if we go to the Cardinal Blade, we can use Bastion of Purification, which could be pretty dope. Mmm, got... These are, these are all our blessings. Four blessings at the moment. Very nice. Okay, we'll go with that. I did like the dagger. Ever since though. I've returned to this world, I've been disappointed. The filth, the shame, the horrors dwell in the minds of men. Not in the monsters in the darkness. Mm. Ramen Chef, thank you for the five month resub, mate. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, not too interested in Space Pirates and Zombies, too. Sivenge. I saw the first one a little bit. It looked okay, but not, not like super exciting. He's got a little bit of a shape of vibe going on. I mean, the outfit, the voice, a bit, yeah. Westwind's only tavern, the Rusty Razor, is a safe harbour among the many dangers of the outer reaches of the Empire. Its barkeep sits outside his establishment with a look of resigned defeat. Upon your arrival, he jolts straight up, and a smile almost breaks out across his face. At last, someone from the Guild is here. These Empire soldiers have almost ruined me. Before you can disagree, the owner swings open the saloon doors and pushes you inside. This is a token one up for grabs here. Inside, you discover a handful of vampire soldiers enjoying ale rather than doing their duty. Hmm, could be a fight here. Phalanx of steel? Ste uh, musket of steel. Damn, okay. So these are empires. Oh, yeah, okay. Inside, you discover a handful of empire soldiers enjoying ale rather than in doing their duty. The freshly invigorated barkeep hops onto a table and shouts above the noise, You lazy, drunken deserters are done! The steward's guild has sent an enforcer here. Oh wait, no, no, no. <laughs> and now you're all gonna have to get back to your posts. This town needs defending. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not an enforcer. <laughs> One of the soldiers rises with a slight sway. We got three days until our shift ends and we return to civilization. 
So that we're not doing any fighting unless they threaten the supply of ale. Right, lads? Uh, a rousheous... I don't know. I still don't know that word. I gotta look that one up. Cheer erupts. A cheer erupts and beer tankards smash together all around. So why don't you take your shiny little badge and shell off? The barkeep turns to you. What are you gonna do? Hmm. I'm feeling confident. Alright, we'll step in. <laughs> Look here, you guys, um, get back to work or I'll, or I'll, you'll be sorry. You suggest with menace that the soldiers should report to duty or they'll report to the healer. <laughs> oh jeez, okay. Uh... Hmm, that definitely went, the huge success definitely went underneath. Um, I felt like it went to number one though. I felt like it. What do you guys reckon? Yeah, you guys reckon too? Yeah. I thought it went like all the way under, eh? Let's try. Hmm, maybe I can reroll that one then. It was actually number three. GG to the three votes. Well done. I did not watch that one at all. Alright, did you guys pay any attention to that? Because I did not. Uh, one again? You sure? No? Four. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna trust you guys. Don't, don't let me down. It was three again. It's always three. Except when it's not. <laughs> Alright, that didn't work out. <laughs> I won't be threatened by the likes of you, the soldier grumbles as he rises, followed by his friends. Okay, fight time. I don't know if there's two of them or if there's like a couple in each of those groups. Mmm, shield dudes. Okay. Spears. Soldier, the expansion of the Empire requires constant conscription of new blood. Soldiers block all attacks, greatly reducing their damage. Use bash to open them up for damage. Alright. B for bash. Hmm. And musket dudes. Alright. Oh yeah, we can't do that. Let's go for the musket guys first. Nice. Finished him off. With style and aplomb. Go! Yeah, buddy. Can't block that. Finish him! Dodge! Going down, buddy. Shield bash. I think I better get out of there. Oh, I, can, so I, can, I think I can deflect their bullets in my shield. Alright, that's good. Okay, bash. Alright, bash. Oh, ooh, counter attack. Alright, bash. There we go. Ah, uh, okay. That's not ideal. Ouch. Thanks. Alright, hold on. Uh, even after countering or blocking, we first have to bash them. Stunned. Nice. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down. Okie dokie. I'm gonna just go grab a shield, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Bash. Ah! These guys are much harder. <laughs> Damn, they're working as a team! What is this teamwork? Oh my. We're getting shredded. Fish him! Oh, that was brutal. Oh my. <laughs> Come on. Fish him! There we go. Man. Damn, damn, okay. That took a lot of damage. We're gonna need plentiful food supplies, I think. <laughs> with how I'm going. Mm. Oh, blessing, nice. Slower spin, reduce the speel, uh, speed of the wheel gambit. I haven't even seen that one yet. Deft eye, okay. More food, that's handy. Hey, they healed me a bit. Bit of fame, and a token. 
The combat is way better in this one, way better. It's actually quite nice. Okay, I think we better camp. Um, I think we might have enough food. We'll go to about 70 again. Uh, okay, we're good. What have I got coming from Twitch? More money? Cool, cool, cool. cool. All right, we'll go this way. Another blizzard. Hmm. It's a good idea to heal in the north. Lots of damage coming in. It took me a bit to figure out if you block the green attacks and right after you get a counter attack called repost with the right weapons. Yeah, I can't figure out how to do that though. I just seem to follow up with normal attack. Hmm. The climb becomes unbearable. We duck into a cave once again. Are we gonna get eaten by a bear this time? Oh, that went super fast. Holy moly, I lost that. Hmm. Let's see what chat says. I think you guys are gonna know though. Alright, mostly one. Oh, 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 three. Oh. It's three. It'll be three. <laughs> I'm glad we have that blessing. <laughs> it saved us a few times. Alright, I'm just going on this one, guys. No, what? Oh, damn. Uh, maybe I should have waited for chat. <laughs> okay. Uh, so last time a bear, that was with regular failure. What does this one give us? You're alerted to the sound of shuffling footsteps. You can barely make out the silhouettes of the menacing figures who invade your shelter. Oh, damn. Berserker, Tramper, and Three of Frost. Oh, no. They're not the sort you'd want to be in close quarters with. Too bad for us, though. We might be in a bit of trouble here. Alright. It's attack right after the block. The damage numbers are yellow if you do it right. Okay. Might only be so far I'm not sure. Berserker, fueled by rage and determined to destroy. There's a lot more varieties of each enemy as well. Berserker weapons are imbued with ice that slows enemies' movement and attacks. Ooh, okay. Oh, there's so many of them! Oh man. Trying to pick it like the edges of them, I guess. Maybe go for the trappers if I can. Try and build up my combo and get the daggers up. Poor six shotgunning damage. Holy moly, I think we just one shot that guy. Oh man. You can't just dodge roll everything in this one as well, because it's not fast enough to just like immediately dodge roll out of the way of things. Worries, bud. Ah! Ah! Damn, the combo attacks. Shield me up, buddy. Get the trappers out of the way. Oh, man. Alright, thank you, shield. Oh, buddy. So much damage. That's good, that ability. Oh, damn, okay. I thought he would flinch from that. He's a berserker, he's not gonna flinch. Alright, that one's down. Let's finish this guy off. Run him through. Oh, okay. We're getting low. Okay. Shield me. Oh, okay. We got this guy, come on. Big finish. Damn. Okay, that was a bit close. <laughs> I saw your video on YouTube, the game looks awesome. I'm glad we could catch a bit before going to bed. Awesome, Cyclonix. Thanks for tuning in, man. <laughs> Woo, <laughs> okay, that was a little close. Yeah, uh, time to eat some more food, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I might have to buy some more food, eh? I'll go back up to about 70 again. Your supplies are running low. Mm -hmm. Make your choices carefully. I'm aware. How much food can I get? Mm 
I'll get as much as I can, I guess. Inaid, thank you for the 38 month sub, man. Thank you for the long term support. Forgot to send you flowers. <laughs> it's, like, it's okay, man. It's okay. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, the Cardinal Blade ability, shotgun, is pretty, pretty OPO. We, we know all about shotgunning, don't we? Alright, but I need a regular shield. Alright, that's all the food we can get here, so. I don't know if we can, like, camp again once we move to a new location, maybe? Alright, um, I don't think we consume food moving like this, so we can do... Actually, that's good, we don't need to worry too much about backtracking now. <laughs> I'm getting destroyed by these blizzards! The blizzards are becoming a problem! Alright, come on chat, I really need to not get... I think it's three. I really need to not get eaten by bear or into another fight right now. It would really be ideal if I could avoid that. What do you reckon? Three? It's, it's three for sure, right? Mm, whoa, a lot of you guys are going too. Alright, I'll trust yous. Uh, do I want to just take the bear damage or risk the fight? Nah, I'll redraw. We'll risk the fight. I mean, come on, there's 50% chance of success. I'm just going for three. Alright, thank you. Okay, we're okay. Alright, let's go this way. Now the confrontation. No, 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 no. Are you ready to face the priestess of her people and drive the deal the Empire has requested? No. Nope. Or will you turn and flee? Turn and flee. <laughs> he like puts his token down. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna see if we can get one more blessing. Hey! Can I get more food? No, there's no more food on this level. I think that's all you can get. You can just maybe buy the food once on the level. Okay. Alright. Mm. Well, we shouldn't run out of food at least. Oh, chat's give, voting to give me food. Oh, guys. <laughs> so kind. I think this stage will be over before I get it, though. The market bazaar is a hive of activity. Traders from across the lands call out to passers-by to sell their wares. Fresh fish! We catch them, you buy them! As the sun beats down on the crowded street, you pause briefly to draw water from a fountain. Hold on. You guys are so immersed right now, aren't you? As the sun beats down on a crowded street- oh yeah, I did that. <laughs> you feel something tug from the inside of your tunic. Churning quickly, you discover a pickpocket making off with some of your belongings. Hey! Thief! Stop! Thief! You jump to your feet and catch a glimpse of the thief as they weave through the crowd. Eh, I was like, oh god. Okay, I'm not. No. Here we go. Oh yeah, yeah, wait, wait. No idea. <laughs> um... We failed this one last time. I think if we catch the thief, we can progress and get the token for this one. I think if you don't, it just nothing happens. You just lose your gold. <laughs> I'm so immersed. Hmm, you guys are pretty split here. Two? Two. Hey! Legends! You bloody legends. The thief is nimble, but you manage to gain on them as they negotiate the crowd. With the thief almost at arm's reach, you knock over a barrel of apples in an attempt to hinder you. No, they knock over a barrel of apples. Oh, here we go. I swear it's harder to track cards in this one. Maybe just my eyes aren't working. Okay, so we have a chance of huge failure here, which is a concern. What are we like, fall over on the back on the apples or something? Or the market stall blames us? We get arrested, sent to sent to prison. <laughs> you guys are pretty confident on three. Okay. Hey, bloody leg ends again. You leap over the rolling apples and tackle the thief to the ground. Oh, we look so cool. You gain two fame. The thief struggles to break free. If you let me keep these here items and let go of me, of course, I'll let you in on a secret. The thief bargains. Hmm. Okay. I accept the offer. I don't care about the five gold. Don't worry about your stuff, the thief says as he dusts himself off. Think of it as an investment. My name's Merrick. Perhaps I could teach you a thing or two. And if you prove yourself... He pauses. 
Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Meet me at noon in two days at the Market Plaza, and we can talk more then. And with that, Merrick disappears back into the crowd. That'll be the token for the next card. So, at the conclusion of this then, we'll get a token, and uh, that'll unlock the card, which will be our meeting with the thief. Mm. Huh. Hmm. Well... We, it seems like we can't get another blessing, so we're gonna have to go into the final final encounter with only five of six blessings. Unfortunately, um, I was thinking for a longer life we'll probably increase our max life, but I don't think we have enough supplies to heal ourselves up anyway. So I should probably just ask for supplies, because then we can heal fully before the last encounter at least. Presuming it's a fight, you know. All right, so we'll heal fully. That'll be help, most helpful, I think. Well, 99 out of 100. Close. Alright, here we go. Let's get ready. The winds clear the dark clouds to reveal the spire of a ritual house protruding, protruding from its summit. I wrote it. You press on through the thick snow to find the wooden structure adorned with spoils of war. As you enter the great hall, the towering arched doors swing open with a heavy creak. A giantess in velvet robe enters, accompanied by raiders. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, look at the cards. She's massive. And those guys aren't small either. Malaclips bows low to the ground. My companion and I have been sent forth to discuss a truce between the Empire and Northerners, milady. It tips his fedora. So they send me a silver-tongued devil. Oh, here, wait, this is, this is the giantess. <laughs> so they send me a silver-tongued devil. You, you, th you thought I was going to do a feminine voice, didn't you? No, she's a giantess. She's got a booming voice. My headphones are caught under my chair. So they send me a silver-tongued devil and his shield maiden, she smirks. <laughs> I hope for your sake you have a decent offering. You kneel before the high priestess. Only five blessings? What a pitiful effort. With a flick of her wrist, bolts of lightning strike you. For not bringing enough blessings, you have failed to win the golden token. Oh, what? We legit failed? You still have a chance uh, to defeat this mission. Ah, so there's like a bonus. If, if you get like the victory condition as well. Okay. So it's like winning the this mission versus just finishing it, I guess. The giantess claps, the sound ringing in the silent cold hall. Ha! This small thing survived it! Impressive! But if you wish to speak to me of a treaty, you must prove yourself against my champion. Okay, her raiders charge towards you. I thought she just a champion. I thought it was going to be 1, 1v1, mano in mano. A battle of honor. Instead, she just sends a group of, group of dudes after me. Alright then. No holds barred in that case. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's probably the champion. Berserker champion. Fierce, loyal, and relentless. Champion of the High Priestess. Berserker weapons are imbued with ice that slows their enemies' attacks. Yeah, this guy's bigger. He looks scary. Okay. Shield me up, buddy. Dodge. Alright, let's try and pick up the trappers first, if we can. Build up our combo. Oh, okay. Shield's gone. Alright, that didn't work. Oh my god. Not the best start. Oh yeah, I'm slowed from the ice. I'm really slow. Okay. Oh, oh, dodge roll! Just keep dodge rolling! <laughs> dodge roll! Dodge roll like crazy! Alright, we finished him. Shield! Alright, we killed one. That's the start. Oh, he's got a triple attack. Get some hits on the boss, I guess. Get him a little low. Ah! Oh, those slows, though. Oh, those slows are brutal. I really want to get rid of some of these trappers, though. Whoa. 
I want me cardinal blades. Give me some combos. Ah. Oh man, I'm getting brutalized. Wrong way, Ziggy. No. Okay. I can't dodge roll that attack. I gotta block it. I gotta block it. Shield me. I need it. Alright, block. 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 Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Dodge. Alright. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Screw the screw the trappers. Let's go for the boss. Dodge. Hit him. Daggers, go. Finish him. Finish him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Should block the bowlers. <laughs> <laughs> One tap of two remaining ones. <laughs> nice. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you need more blocking than evasion in this game. One made evasion easy because the dodge roll is extremely fast. Yeah, yeah, it seems like I need to block a bit more than just dodge rolling everything, for sure. Even though you failed to bring me your offering, I'm impressed with how you wield your sword. Now hear my turns. The High Priestess draws herself up, a towering figure draped in fur and wrath. The North will never bend to the Empire. Blood for blood for blood. Those are my terms, small one. Let your leaders hear it and quake. With that, you make a quick descent to relay the message back to General Brandstrom. <laughs> Running down the mountain. <laughs> Hold on. We gotta, whenever we have the fin- whenever we finish it, we gotta turn the music right up. We gotta, because it's so good. Alright, so we didn't get gold in that one, but, you know. <laughs> For beating the High Priestess's champion. Humble Hammer. Berserker's Creed. And the Extinguisher. Cool. Uh, our dev in chat re requests that someone clip that green hit from the Berserker that hit him at the end of his roll. Um, ooh, might be, might be getting a little bit of, uh, live, live bug fixing action. I didn't notice anything weird, but... Oh, good on you, Cam. Oh, a few people hit Link in the clips. You guys legends. Good, good on you, good on you. And that's good stuff, man. That's good stuff. Dev's keeping an eye on things, making sure everything's working beautifully. Winter Solstice, for beating the High Priest Champion. Oh, yeah, more. Burning Building. Temple Prayers. The Temple Prayers were really good, easy blessings. Cartographer. For ascending Mount Freitas, your supplies have been added to. Oh. Food, Warrior's Axe, with a token. Interesting. And Soldier's Sword. Why do they have tokens, I wonder? Interesting. Maybe when you get them, there's something you can do with them to get some extra bonus. Maybe like, I don't know, we'll see. For clearing out the Rusty Razor. <laughs> Friendly Innkeeper, there we go. He's gonna be happy with us next time we meet him. For accepting the Thief Merrick's offer. Pickpocket. God, this music's so good. There we go. Well, um, I'll call that a success. You know, we didn't get we didn't get like the extra gold token. So you can see down the bottom there, it's actually got a silver, or even in the middle there. So we got like basically a silver medal for completing it, but not getting the six blessings, which might have helped us convince her to not to be, you know, more friendly. I guess she might have respected me more and being like, not just being like blood for blood for blood. Very interesting. Okay. I think that's a perfect time to take a break before we move on to the next one. I think we'll come back make, we'll come back to, to get the gold eventually, but uh, we'll move on to a new one first, I think. So, uh, when I return, we'll move on to the Empress. Until then, guys, I'll see you very soon.